Cancerian family, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. This is a general love reading and we're going to go freestyle with this and if it resonates with you please hit that like button to let me know. And Cancer, if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community but you haven't yet had the opportunity to do so, feel free to subscribe. This reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Cancerian placements and to the cross watchers checking in on a Cancerian feel free to come on in you can reverse the roles here cross watcher and Cancer you can reverse the roles uh, as it is a general reading and if you feel that your message isn't here please do not take this as your own but please do check out your other placements as your messages may be waiting over there, Cancer. As you can see, I'm shooting from a different location. I'm currently on holidays with my family. Um, if you would like to follow my holiday highlights, I will leave my Instagram handle in the show more section below. I'd love to have you come and join me over on Instagram. Uh, I was going to only do collective love readings but as you can see i've decided to come in with weekly love readings for all the all of the zodiac signs just while i'm on holidays it's there's a storm brewing outside and it's kind of reduced me into inside i'm holidaying in the tropics and it's kind of like monsoonal season here it's very hot humid sticky it's a beautiful part of australia where i'm i'm staying right now and there is a beautiful storm brewing and it's very dark outside so here i am doing a reading for my beautiful cancerian family anyway i've gone off on a little bit of a tangent so back to your reading as you can see cancer i've already drawn two animal spirit cards these two cards well i was only meant to draw one animal spirit card but two decided to come out so we're going with it and these two cards represent your person's current energy. The first one coming through is the lamb. Sorry for the darkness, I do have the light on. Um, so yeah, just going with that Cancer. So your person may be an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the other animal spirit that fell through was the otter. We also have water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So your person may be either or. And if not, that's okay. Please don't despair, Cancer you know this is your this is the current energy of your person right now okay so let me take a look at these two cards when I look at these two cards together I'm picking up on an energy of someone who is quietly observing you from afar I don't feel like this person is maybe talking to you right now um, I feel like there's a quiet a quietness here um, I feel like there is a silence between the both of you. And I feel like with this otter, with these binoculars, tells me that this person is at a distance from you. Maybe they're at a, a physical distance from you. Maybe they're watching you or observing you online and they can't you know, see you in real life or in real time. Um, or it could be an emotional, it's a physical distance or an emotional distance is what I'm getting here with this person. Mm, can you hear the storm? You could probably hear the beautiful storm brewing in the background. Okay. Yeah, it's very interesting. This person is very quiet it's very it's actually quite difficult to pick up on this person's energy mm, they've maybe they've just gone silent on you i'm hearing radio silence mm. earth and water earth and water i i, I do get a feeling here I feel like this is, it feels like to me that this is, a, um, there, there is a connection coming through this person with you, but it's very, uh, how do I put it? It doesn't feel like this person has a deep romantic bond to you. It could be someone that you've just recently connected to. 
or it's someone here that you've connected to but it hasn't developed into a serious relationship like a, a committed relationship I just feel like this is very young energy or it's like it's a connection that is still in the early stages or yeah that's what I'm getting here so I'm going to shuffle the cards and we're going to take a look <laughs> of course I've got the fan on the fans blowing the cards down hang on let me just work with this you know I'm not I'm not at home and I'm doing things just off the fly so it is what it is cancer <laughs> nothing's ever perfect okay all right let's take a look at your person's current feelings towards you this might help us understand your person's current energy okay so knight of swords is coming in this person's current feelings towards you spirit angels and guys what is this person's current feelings towards cancer what is this person's current feelings towards cancer i am getting like a timid energy here okay they're, they're coming across as very timid maybe shy maybe a little bit apprehensive um, I'm getting someone okay we've got the seven of pentacles well the, these cards kind of explain why um, I'm not taking reversals yeah there's almost like an uncertainty coming in with this person like they're I don't want to say they're insecure but they could be insecure but they're very unsure of of themselves they're, they're unsure of what actions to take they're unsure of what action to take mm. or they're unsure of what to do next okay we have the five of pentacles okay i'm just making sure i think some of my cards are upside down and they shouldn't be so if they do come out in the reverse I'm just going to flip them in the upright all right so this person's current feelings towards you cancer hmm this person feels like you're upset with them that's what I'm getting here with the Knight of Swords. This person feels like you're angry towards them or you're upset with them. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting like an angry or upset energy here coming through the Knight of Swords, but they feel like you're the one that's upset with them because they feel that you have... Um, I want to say ghosted them or you have abandoned the connection and they're not sure here of whether or not they should continue to put any effort into the connection they're not sure if they if it would be a good idea to continue to invest in the connection or to put effort into the connection this is effort Yeah, they're not sure of whether or not they should continue to pour, pour any effort into your connection. They're just not sure if it would be like, like if they if they put effort in, if anything will come of it. You know, because they feel that you have neglected them or that you've given them the cold shoulder but they're still contemplating it though I don't feel like this person has completely given up on the connection because the seven of pentacles is here I don't feel like they've given up on the connection I don't feel that yeah i'm not feeling that let's take a look at, at this energy uh let's take a look at the seven of pentacles tell me more about this seven of pentacles where's the seven of pent the fool
Ah, so they're not sure whether or not that if they should continue putting effort into the connection because they feel cancer that you don't care about them anymore. They feel like kind of like what's the point, cancer doesn't care. They're not sure of whether or not they should continue to I want to say risk it with the full. They're not sure if the connection is is still worth the risk or if the relationship is still worth the risk. Mm. The full also represents a fresh new start or a new beginning. So I'm just getting like a lot of uncertainty and a lot of, yeah, it's just very complex energy coming through. This person's complex. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? The Death card. Could be connecting to a Scorpio. Yeah, look, this person feels like you've abandoned them or... They feel with the death card here that your feelings uh, towards them have shifted, your feelings towards them have changed. They feel like you don't care about them anymore, or you don't want them anymore. This person feels that you've ended things with them. You know what it is with this full, pardon me, Cancer, um, I had a cup of tea. I'm having a cup of tea. You know what it is, Cancer, with this person? They're trying to tell themselves to forget about you and just to walk away from you. But the Seven of Pentacles is here, which is pulling them back in. Um, it's a card of contemplation. This person is still contemplating the connection they, st they still think about you. Um, so even if they are trying to forget about you, I, I don't feel like they're having any luck, okay? I don't feel like they're having any luck here. Mm. I, I feel cancer that this person has attempted to forget about you okay three cards here tell me that uh, they've tried to forget about you but i don't feel like they're having any luck because these two cards here tell me that they can't forget about you i feel like this person still finds themselves um, spying on you or checking you out online or maybe asking friends or family about you, especially if you have connections. Mm. All right, so what do we want to ask next? What, what is this person's intentions towards cancer? Actually, no. I'm going to find out why you're upset. Let's take a look at you. Sorry, cancer. I just need to understand what's going on here. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Let's just pull this aside for a second. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Okay, the Ten of Swords. Oh. Um, okay, so this person feels like you're angry towards them. Yeah, maybe you're upset with them, Cancer, because you feel that this person has, you know, betrayed you or backstabbed you. Mm. Let me get some more cards. Judgment card. Hmm, 
this is interesting give me a moment i need to understand this energy ten of swords to the judgment card oh the king of cups okay let me just look at this okay cancer this person feels like you're angry or upset with them mm. okay it's because here you've you have a lot of feelings for this person. I feel like you have very strong feelings for this person. Um, I feel like you've wanted this person to step up uh, emotionally or you, you've wanted them to step up in love, okay? Because the King of Cups, he's the King of Love. So I feel like you're upset with this person because ultimately they haven't stepped up okay they haven't stepped up to the plate they haven't stepped up to the relationship plate i feel like with the judgment card and the ten of swords you've given this person many chances to maybe um or you've given them many opportunities to prove to you that they love you or that they want to be with you that they want to commit to you um, but uh, this Ten of Swords is telling me you're upset because you've given them multiple chances or you've given them many chances or many opportunities to step up and they haven't, okay? You're upset because you feel like, you know, this is a relationship that's going nowhere, Ten of Swords. It's, it's a dead end. It's not going anywhere. I feel like this judgment card is you giving them many chances, Cancer. And I feel like maybe you're at this point where you're a little bit upset with yourself. Because you have maybe given them too many chances than they deserve. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, but that's all right. Like the judgment card is here and the judgment card is I feel like you've had to make a major decision here. And I feel like the major decision that you've made is to maybe detach or cut yourself away. Cut the connection, cut the cord emotionally detach so with the ten of swords here so you can begin so you can begin you know the healing journey for yourself all right so let's move on let's take a look at this what, what's going on with this person what do they want with you queen of swords is here what does this person want with cancer seven of swords what do they want with cancer What do they want with cancer? What does this person want, truly want with cancer? Okay, I'll take the one that's revealed themselves, which is the Three of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Wow, these are interesting cards. I mean, when we're asking what this person wants with you, with the Three of Pentacles, we can see here what they really want is this chance to be able to talk to you, connect with you. Okay. 
Mm. Um, Three of Pentacles, it's a card of cooperation. But this person feels like you're not cooperating with them. Okay, because the Queen of Swords is here. So you, you've, you know, the Queen of Swords, she's, she's made a decision. And this person feels like you've decided here to um, set some kind of boundary. Mm. Yeah, I feel like the Queen of Swords is you and you, you've distanced yourself from this person, pref preferring to maybe just observe them. But I, when, it, when we're asking the cards, what does this person want with you? They want you to give them another chance. But I don't, I don't like it because the Seven of Swords is here. And when I see the Seven of Swords, this person doesn't have the best intentions. Can we clarify the Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, please? Why is the Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles here? <laughs> the Star card, look at this and what showed up, the Knight of Swords. Hmm. Well... The Knight of Swords is here and you've got the Knight of the Knight of Swords is up here, which is your energy, Cancer. Could be connecting to an Aquarius here. We've got strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The funny thing is, is this person with the star card, they're trying to, they're trying to stay in this optimistic attitude. They're trying to stay hopeful, hopeful that you guys can reconcile or reconnect. This person feels cancer that you're angry with them, but they feel that your anger towards them isn't going to last very long. Hmm. Mm, that's interesting. I don't know. That's an interesting message. They feel that you're angry with them, but they feel like you're not going to stay angry with them forever. I don't know why they think that. This person feels like it's best to give you space. Okay. They feel like it's best to stay away from you here. Um, to give you space because they feel like space will cool things down between the both of you. That's what I'm getting. Mm. But the Seven of Swords is here. So this could be self-deception on their end. This is something that they're telling themselves. They're trying to convince themselves that this is how it is going to play out. Um, remember, this is their perspective here. They know you're upset with them. They know that you're angry. This is why they're coming in shy and timid. This is why they're not saying too much here. They're not putting any effort into the relationship right now. Do they want to? Yes, they do. 
but they feel right now it's best just to kind of like lay low. They're waiting for you to cool off. They're waiting for you to cool down or calm down. I don't know what that means. They have intentions to reconcile or... Um, I'm hearing reconciliation and renew, renew, restore the connection. But they feel it's best just to stay away until you cool down and calm down. They just want to give you space. This person wants to give you space. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so let's take a look then at what action they'll take towards you. Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards cancer? What action will this person take towards cancer? The Hermit card. Virgo energy. Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards cancer? Okay. I'll take, oh, but not those two. I'll take these two that fell out. Well, look at this. We've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Two aces. Well, they're going to break the silence. That's what they're going to do. The Hermit card is the silence. It's funny because I did hear Silence of the Lambs here earlier. Yes, they're going to break the silence here. Okay. They're going to pluck up the courage and the confidence here to... Uh, break this silence what's really interesting in the hermit card the hermit is holding a lantern that carries the star this person is being guided to approach you uh, approach you here with the ace of wands and the ace of swords for a new beginning okay they will decide to break the silence here with the ace of swords they will decide to um, talk to you communicate I feel like this person is looking for some kind of breakthrough, okay? They want to break through. They want to have a breakthrough here with you. They, they're looking for a victorious outcome. And this victorious outcome would involve you maybe giving them a second chance or giving them another chance. This person with the Ace of Wands here, Cancer, is going to try to reignite the spark. Yeah, they are going to try to reignite the spark. Mm. Well, that's very interesting, isn't it? Do I want to clarify any of these cards? I want to have a look at this Hermit energy. Tell me more about the Hermit card. Spirit, tell me more about the Hermit card. Why is the Hermit card here? Yeah, look at this. The cards are falling everywhere. The Magician. There we go. Yep. It's exactly, it's just confirming what I said earlier, which is this person is going to try to manifest a new beginning or a new opportunity here with you. Okay, this person is pretty confident that they can reignite something here with you. They're feeling pretty confident. Maybe they've done this before, Cancer. Something tells me here that they've done this before with the Magician. Because mm. I'm seeing the Infinity symbol above the Magician's head, which is, you know... It's an in and out energy. It's a repeated cycle. Something tells me they've done this before. And they will attempt it again. So let's take a look at Cancer. Let's take a look at how you're going to respond to this situation. So Spirit Angels and Guides, how is Cancer going to respond to this situation or to this person? Knight of Pentacles. Well, the Knight of Pentacles is a disciplined knight, okay? He's, he's very disciplined. So I feel like you're going to be uh, trying to discipline yourself with this person. Look at this, Six of Cups. I hope you can see the cards. I know it's a little bit dark here. Okay. What 
have you got here, Kat? You've got the star card as well. Look at this. The star has showed up a couple of times now. How is Cancer going to respond to this person? Look, Cancer, with the Six of Cups, I, I feel like you still care about this person. For some of you, you may even be missing this person. I feel like you have a past life connection to this person. If this person approaches you and says something like, I miss you, Cancer, do you miss me too? Or if they approach you with this, I, I've been missing you, I've been thinking about you, you're going to tread very carefully or cautiously here. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like the star card here, Cancer, is you keeping this person at arm's length. You know, the, di the star card speaks to distance. You know, you are, you're out of reach. You're, you're keeping this person at arm's length. Even though you, you still have feelings for this person or you still care about them, um, regardless of your feelings here, I feel like you're keeping this person at arm's length. You're not going to let this person get too close. You're, you're being cautious here. You're being guarded here with the Knight of Pentacles because the Knight of Pentacles, he's not making any plans to move things forward here. Uh-uh. He's not making plans uh, to move things forward here. I need to clarify. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, Spirit. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Yeah, look at that. There's the Four of Swords and there's the Two of Wands. Yeah. Give me a moment. Yeah, I, d I don't feel, Cancer, you want to go back to the way things were. I don't feel like you want to relive the past here because the Six of Cups speaks to the past. Okay, you have a beautiful connection with this person or you did have a beautiful connection with this person, but the Four of Swords is here clarifying this, which tells me that there's been silence or there's been maybe too much, um, maybe too many days or too many weeks have gone by where there's been no communication between the both of you and as far as you're concerned cancer you're like that's like too much time has passed you know too much time has passed and that doesn't bode well with you um because if you look in this four of swords i see clouds in the background and clouds to me represent a lack of clarity or uncertainty you, you, you don't feel certain or you don't feel sure about proceeding forward uh, or having a future with this person mm. yeah I, I just feel I'm not I'm not saying that you've made the decision here to break away or cut ties with this person I, I do see you still very much contemplating this relationship right now, Cancer. You're just in observation. You're observing this person's actions. Okay, you're neither here nor there with the Two of Wands. The, the star card is you keeping this person at arm's length. You're not really fully trusting this person. They're going to have to prove themselves here. Because mm. I do see you 
you still have an emotional connection to this person. You may still be contemplating a future. I don't feel like you've totally dismissed this person altogether, although some of you Cancerians may have. However, I, I can't speak to all Cancerians here today. You know, it really is just dependent here on how this person approaches you, what they say, um, how true they are to their word, how consistent they are. You know, the Knight of Pentacles, he's looking for someone who is committed and consistent. And I feel like, Cancer, you will be looking for consistency and you will be looking to see what this person does. You are questioning whether or not a future a relationship is still possible with this person. You are questioning whether or not that's still possible. Right now, you're not, you know, you're not making any relationship plans right now. Okay. Mm. You're not even giving this person the benefit of the doubt. I don't even feel like it's that with you. I feel like you're just keeping yourself distant. You're watching, you're observing, you're hearing this person out. But you're not making any decisive actions here. Why is the star card here? Tell me more about the star card. The emperor. Yeah, the Emperor is you having the authority here in this situation, Cancer. Remember, you're, you're the director of your own life. And that's the Emperor. You're the leader here. You're in charge here. Um, and I feel that what you're deciding here, Cancer, with the star card is just to keep this person at arm's length. Okay, because you're looking for someone who is willing and ready to step up to the plate with the Emperor. You're looking to see if this person treats you in high regard. You know, the star card is kind of like special treatment. You're looking for that special treatment. You're looking for this person to revere you or respect you. You don't so much want to be put on a pedestal, but you do want this person to make you feel special. And not just for a short time either. You're looking for consistency here with the emperor. You know? So that's your reading right now, Cancer. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know which part of the reading best resonated for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, Cancer.